Well, looking back on the Big Five meet in Minneapolis last week, I thought we had an outstanding performance. Um, you know, we had 24 routines without a fall. That doesn't mean we had 24 routines without mistakes, some of them a little bigger than others. But really proud of how we got started on vault, how we finished the meet on floor. Um, our goal has been to open and close on each event, open and close each meet, and I felt like we really did a good job of doing that last week in a, in a really pressure-packed environment. Yeah, well, the first question everyone has is, why don't you have any first-teamers? And I think that just points to the fact that th there aren't any superstars on this team. Everyone pulls their weight. We're all pulling in the same direction, and they're all contributing uh, on each event. In order to make it, you had to be in the top 10 in points. Um, so for Sydney to make it, Emma to make it, and Bree to make it, that shows that they're scoring points on lots of different events in the Big Ten rankings. And if you just look at our record books this season, you see their names splattered all over the place. So we're, we're really happy for them and really excited that they've been given that honor. And what can you guys build off of and use as momentum from last weekend moving into the championships this week? Well, we love the fact that we're starting on uneven bars. Uh, we feel like that's been a great event for us this whole year. We know that we're going to get off to a great start. We know that we're going to finish that event strong. And to get bars and beam out of the way right away, uh, we get to do what was done to us last week in Minnesota by finishing on vault. And uh, it's our hope that the meet's going to be really close. We'll go nail all of our vaults. And then Michigan has to go to beam to end the meet. And I think Nebraska goes to bars to end the meet, which those events, when you're under pressure, uh, you tend to see more mistakes on those events than you would on vault and floor ending the meet. So it's our job to hit all of our routines, uh, to put up big scores, and to put those teams under pressure in the last rotation while we're sitting on a, ba a bye watching. Well, the most exciting part of the Big Ten weekend is the banquet. Kidding. Uh, the most exciting thing is just watching it all come together, uh, the hard work them starting to understand, especially the freshmen, starting to understand why we did what we did in September, October, and November. Now they get it, and now they're able to apply it. And the, these meets are so much fun with the crowds, the energy, the cheering, it coming down to the last event, it coming down to the last routine sometimes. Um, there's nothing better in college sports than that type of competition. So we're excited about postseason, we're excited about uh, where we're headed, and uh, let's see what happens.